hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to discuss a question from csir december 2018 net the question says there are three quadratic forms given q1 q2 and q3 q1 equals to x into y q2 equals to x square plus 2xy plus y square q3 equals to x square plus 3xy plus 2y square and what we have to do is to find which of these following quadratic forms are equivalent to each other if we look at these quadratic forms we have to make inspections about how they behave when x and y vary from all real numbers means whether they attain always positive values or always negative values or mixed for example if we consider q1 x into y if we consider q1 equals to x into y we see that it attains both positive and negative values as well here we can see q1 at x equals to 5 and y minus 3 its value is the product of 5 and minus 3 which is minus 15 and secondly for another value we can see it attains positive value 2 at 5 and 4 which is 20 so it is clear that q1 attains both negative and positive values it can attain 0 as well when x and or y are 0 but if we consider second quadratic form which is x square plus 2xy plus y square it is clearly a well known identity which is the whole square of x plus y that is square of x plus y and we know square of any quantity is always non-negative so q2 cannot attain negative values but q1 attains negative values at many points so q1 and q2 are not equivalent i think this point is clear that q1 attains negative values at some points but q2 is always positive non negative so their ranges are not equal q1 and q2 are not equivalent so we can write it as q1 not equivalent to q2 now we look at q2 and q3 in q2 we see that x square plus 2xy plus y square is clearly a non negative quantity but q3 q3 which is x square plus 3xy plus 2y square here 2y square which factorizes to x plus y plus x plus 2y it's q3 and we can see here q2 which is whole square but q3 is a product of two different numbers that is x plus y and x plus 2y and we can now show that q3 can take positive and negative values as well here q3 q3 takes value 3 plus 3 at 1 and minus 2 when 1 and minus 2 are substituted in in place of x and y 1 and minus 2 are substituted in place of x and y and x 2y we get plus 3 similarly at x equals to minus 1 and y minus 1 we get plus 6 and also minus 9 and at 1 when x is minus 9 and y is plus 1 so it becomes minus 9 plus 1 minus 9 plus twice of 1 that is 2 minus 8 my into minus 7 plus equals to plus 56 but this is not true 
Q3 is not always positive as it is clear from this example. This example, when we take x equals to minus six, y equals to four, x plus y, x plus two y, so we get minus four. This means Q3, Q3 always take not always take positive values it can take negative values also so but q2 q2 was a positive quantity or non negative quantity but q3 as we seen is a can always can also be positive and negative so q2 and q3 are not equivalent so what remains is that q1 is equivalent to q3 because q1 can take positive and negative values also Sim similarly we also seen that q3 also takes positive and negative values so we have shown that q1 is equivalent to q3 but they are not equivalent to q2 from given three quadratic forms q1 q2 and q3 Q1 is equal to Q1. Q1 is equal to Q3. Hope you understand this concept and liked my lecture. On these topics, I also make some more videos. If you like, please subscribe this channel. So and appreciate my initiative. Thanks for watching my video.